myself sunil jadhav from shri hp sadar high school here you can see that uh, topic is chemical substances nature and behavior you know each element is unique in the earth and whatever element we are getting from the earth or a unique and they are having different properties why do the particular element is having different property that we are trying to learn in a basic concept in the secondary section let's try to understand it here you can see first of all we will try to understand about metal non metal and semi metals for that first of all we will go with the atomic configuration electronic configuration of the different elements are given here you can see we have taken the different element from atomic number 11 12 and 13 you can see atomic number 11 is sodium atomic number 12 that is magnesium atomic number 13 that is aluminium now you can see those two elements we have taken here that is neon and argon they have completed their octet you have already learned in the previous standard about the octet law that is the outermost orbit is filled with the eight number of electron that becomes inactive completely here you can see that it is 2 8 so here you can see in the first orbit there are two number of electrons in the neon in the second orbit there are eight number of electrons octet is completely filled with the eight number of electrons so it becomes inactive same way argon is having atomic number 18 and it is having electronic configuration 2 8 and 8 so it is also the outermost orbit is filled with the eight number of electron now we will take the example of this sodium you can see its atomic number is 11 and it is having one number of electron in the outermost orbit as it is having electronic configuration 2 8 and 1 now you can see the one number of electron is there in the outermost orbit so it has to gain the atomic configuration or electronic configuration like neon or like argon it has to becomes like neon or argon to become stable now you can see for becoming just like neon it has to lose one electron or to become it just like argon it has to gain seven number of electron the seven number of electron to gain is very difficult and hence it will lose one electron while that sodium will lose one electron it donates that electron and hence it will convert into na plus 1 it is having plus one charge because it loses one number of electron so that is considered to be metal so the sodium is having metallic property because it loses electron similar way you can see about the magnesium magnesium is having atomic number 12 it is having electronic configuration 2 8 and 2 so its outermost orbit is filled with the two number of electrons so it can easily lose two number of electron and due to the losing of electron it will convert into mg plus 2 so it loses two electron and convert into mg plus 2 similar way we have seen for the sodium it loses one electron and convert into positive ion so those element which are losing electron and convert into positive ion those are called as a metal similar example we can take for aluminium here you can see aluminium is having atomic number 13 and it is electronic configuration is 2 8 and 3 it is having three number of electron in the outermost orbit so it has to lose its three or it has to gain five to become just like carbon it's not easy to gain five electrons so it will lose its three electron and will convert into al plus 3 so here you can see sodium magnesium and aluminium are losing electron if they are losing electron and converting into positive ion so they are considered to be metal this is what the characteristic of the metallic element now here you will see the electronic configuration of the different element like neon silicon and argon we have already seen about the neon and argon they are stable because its octet is filled with the eight number of electrons but here you will see silicon in the silicon the atomic number is 14 so it is having electronic configuration like 2 8 and 4 now you can see 4 means what it has to gain 4 or it has to it has to lose 4 or it has to gain 4 in both the state it is having equal number of electrons to gain or lose and that is why it is having property which is called as a semi metal or it is also called as a metal alloy so this is how the metal alloy is having property to either gain or lose of the electron so metal is having property to lose semi metal is having property to lose or gain now we'll move further you will see the next electronic configuration we'll try to see about the element phosphorus sulfur and chlorine let's try to start it with chlorine you can see chlorine is having atomic number 17 and it is electronic configuration 2 and 7 now it has to gain one electron to become just like argon and it has to loses six a seven number of electrons so that to convert it 
electrons like neon. So it is not easy to lose the seven number of electrons. So it will gain one electron. So it gains one electron and it will convert into Cl minus one. So the element which are losing electron and converting into negative ion, those are considered to be non-metal. This is the property of non-metal compounds. Similarly, you can see for the sulfur, its atomic number is sixteen. Its electronic configuration is two, eight, and six. The outermost orbit is having six number of electron. So it has to loses all six to gain electronic configuration like neon, or it has to gain two. So easily it can gain two electron and be converted into S minus two. Similar way we come to phosphorus. Phosphorus is having five number of electron in its outermost orbit. So it has to loses all five to gain the electronic configuration like neon, or it has to gain three electron to just becomes like argon so it will gain three and will convert into p minus 3 so here in all these three compound that is all this all this three element that is phosphorus sulfur and chlorine we have seen that they are gaining electrons they are gaining electron that's why they are having negative charge like cl minus 1 s is gaining two electrons so it is s minus 2 and phosphorus gaining three electron it becomes p minus 3 So all these elements are gaining electron, and hence it is having non-metallic property. So we have seen about the metal, non-metal, and semi-metal. Those elements which are losing electron are considered to be metal. Those electrons, those elements which are gaining electrons are called as the non-metal. And those elements which can gain or lose, both kind of properties are there. They are considered to be semi-metal, or it is also called as a metal. Let's try to see about the modern periodic table as you already learned about the modern periodic table in modern periodic table i have shown the three different symbols three different color that is yellow for metal this color is for metalloids and this red color is for non metal you can see the maximum blocks are there with the yellow color so maximum are of metal only this many number of electrons are there which are considered to be semi metal or they are called as a metalloid and all these are non metal so there are very limited number of non metals are there and semi metals or metalloids are also very less while the maximum number of uh, maximum number of elements are there which are considered to be metal so here we have seen about the different properties of the different element just with the help of electronic configuration thank you